ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ವಸುದೇವಸುತಂದೇವಂ ಕಂಸಚಾಣೂರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಓಂ ಪಾರ್ಥಾ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿ ನಾರಾಯಣೇ ನ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಮುನಿ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಾಮೃತವರ್ಷಿಣೀ ಭಗವತೀ ಅಷ್ಟಾದಶಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿನೀ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭವದ್ವೇಷಿಣೀ ಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾವರುಣೇಂದ್ರರುದ್ರಮರು ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈರ್ ವೇದೈಸ್ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈರ್ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಯಂ ಸಾಮಗಾಧ್ಯಾನವಸ್ಥಿತತ್ಗತೆ ನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯೋಗಿನೋ ಯಾಂತನ್ನ ವಿದುಸ್ಸುರಾಸುರಗಣ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವಮದಂಭಿ ಅಹಿಂಸಾಕ್ಷಾಂತಿರ್ಜವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೋಪಾಸನ ಶೌಚ ಸ್ಥೈರ್ಯತ್ಮವಿಗ್ರಹ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಾಧನ certain values and certain qualities that one should cultivate to prepare oneself for atma jnana therefore they are called jnana sadhana Bhagavan will later call them Jnana. They are called Jnana because they are Jnana Sadhana. Let's look into them. Number one, Amanitvam. according to madhusudana saraswati amanitvam means giving up boasting about oneself let me read his commentary on this word vidyamanaihi 
ಅವಿದ್ಯಮಾನೈರ್ವಾಗುಣೈ ಆತ್ಮನಃ ಶ್ಲಾಘನ ಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮನಃ ಶ್ಲಾಘನ ಪ್ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬೋಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಐ ಡಿಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಡಿಡ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿದ್ಯಮಾನೈ ಗುಣೈ one may boast about oneself regarding the qualities that one has and sometimes avidyamanaihi gunaihi one may not have those qualities still he boasts even though he does not have those qualities for example he says i never boast about myself that itself is a boasting <laughs> therefore atmanah slaghanam manitvam self glorification ಪ್ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಅನ್ಡಿಸೈರಬಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಅದಂಭಿತ್ವ ದಂಭ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಶೋ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ for the sake of any gain or to get respect or to get name and fame one may make a show of one's virtues madhusudana saraswati says labha pooja khyatya khyatyartham ಸ್ವಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಟೀಕರಣ ದಂಭಿತ್ವ ದಂಭಿತ್ವ ಆರ್ ದಂಭ ಬೋತ್ ಮೀನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ದಂಭ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಂಭಿತ್ವ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ವಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಟೀಕರಣ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೋನ್ ವರ್ಚ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಾನ make a show of it call many people and in front of them do the dana why it may be because of labha i may get something if i show my virtues i may get something money etc the 
therefore i meditate on the footpath sit in sit on the footpath and meditate in the market place and then people see and they they may give some money so labha for the sake of labha one may show one's virtues and also puja for getting honor for getting respect in the society or khyati for getting name and fame to be popular one may show that one is doing some good work and the good work is done just for the sake of showing it is not done for one's own spiritual upliftment it is not done with the sincerity giving up such a habit is called adambhitva one should be virtuous for one's own sake others need not know whether i get recognition from others or not let me do good for my own sake for the sake of parameshwara prityartham let ishwara be happy with my work with this intention that is why when we do any karya like sandhya vandanam or puja etc we say parameshwara prityartham it is for pleasing parameshwara it is not meant for taking photograph and putting on the facebook it is adambhitva being sincere in one's own dharma and doing one's dharma practicing one's swadharma for one's own sake and the third one ahimsa giving up himsa is called ahimsa giving up of violence physically verbally and mentally <coughs> madhusudana saraswati says kayavan manobhihi praninam pidanam himsa <coughs> himsa means troubling the pranis troubling the living beings madhusudan saraswati does not say manushyana not just human beings any animal any living being pidanam troubling hurting and it can be kaya vang manobhi physically mentally or verbally even mentally having the intention to hurt somebody is also a himsa tad varjanam ahimsa giving up himsa is called ahimsa
क्षाति फोर्थ वन क्षाति इट इस आल्सो कॉल्ड क्षमा इट मींस फर्गिवनेस मधुसूदन सरस्वती परापराधे चित्त विकार हेतु प्राप्ते अति निर्विकार चित्ततया तदपराध सहनम क्षाति परापराधे समबडी हैज मेड अ मिस्टेक समबडी एल्स हैज डन समथिंग रॉन्ग then what happens we may get disturbed we may get provoked chitta vikara hetau prapte there is a reason for getting provoked for getting upset with the person even then निर्विकार चित्ततया बीइंग निर्विकार चित्त विदाउट गेटिंग प्रोवोक्ड रिमेनिंग काम इंटरनली रिमेनिंग कंपोस्ट इंटरनली एंड तद अपराध सहन एंड्योरिंग हिस्स रॉन्ग डूइंग putting up with somebody's wrong doing it is called shantihi arjavam aprayitness meaning akautilya absence of crookedness arjavam is akautilyam absence of crookedness it includes not deceiving others not manipulating others being honest then acharyopasanam acharya is the one who teaches brahma vidya who teaches moksha sadhana मोक्ष साधनोपदेष्टा आचार्य वन हू टीच मोक्ष साधन हौ टू गेट मोक्ष ईज दि आचार्य इंटेडेड हियर हिस् उपासन सर्विंग दि आचार्य worshipping the acharya and the worship includes seva namaskara puja everything seva namaskara and puja doing seva to the acharya seva is sometimes referred to as a kaiyankarya k 
किंकरस्य भावः कैंकर्यम कैंकर्य मीन्स वन शुड आस्क द गुरु वाट शुड ई डू किं करोमि किं करवाणि वाट शुड ई डू द शिष्य आस् द गुरु इट इस कॉल्ड कैंकर्य मीन्स बीइंग रेडी टू डू एनी टाइप ऑफ सेवा टू द गुरु एंड नमस्कार साष्टांग नमस्कार पद्भ्याम कराभ्यामूरभ्यासा शिसा भुवि पतनम दीर्घतरुवत्णामोष्टांग उच्यते साष्टांग नमस्कार इस अ टोटल प्रोस्ट्रेशन वेर एट लिम्स एट पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी टच द ग्राउंड पद्भ्याम टू फीट कराभ्याम टू हैंड्स ऊरुभ्याम टू थाइस उरसा चेस्ट एंड शिरसा हेड फोर हेड विद ऑल दीज एट अंगस एट पार्ट्स दीर्घतरुवत पतनम फॉलिंग डाउन ऑन द ग्राउंड लाइक ए लॉन्ग ट्री लाइक ए स्ट्रेट ट्री प्रणामोष्टांग उच्यते इट इस कॉल्ड साष्टांग नमस्कार एंड पूजा वर्शिपिंग द गुरु पाद पूजा इन अवर ट्रेडिशन पाद पूजा इज प्रिवेलेंट दे वर्शिप द फीट ऑफ द गुरु All these are Acharya Upasana. When the Guru is present, one can do all these things. When the Guru is far away, Guru is not nearby, then how to do Acharya Upasana? Nowadays, one can serve the guru from a distance also in some ways seva can be done to some extent from a distance also but how to do puja to the guru so there can be meditation on the guru in fact कैवल्योपनिषत् इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ एनी मेडिटेशन वन शुड फस्ट मेडिटेट ऑन वन गुरु एंड वो नमस्कार मेंटली टू द गुरु स्वगुरु प्रणम्य and shaucham next one shaucham cleanliness cleanliness is two fold shaucham to dvividham proktam there are two types of cleanliness bahyam abhyantaram evacha वन इज बाह्य शौच एनदर इज आभ्यर शौच एक्सटर्नल क्लेनलीनेस एंड इंटर्नल क्लेनलीनेस 
मृज्जलाभ्यां स्मृत बाह्यम एक्सटर्नल क्लीनस बॉडिली क्लीनस ईज डन विद वाटर सोप एक्सेट्रा and in addition to that one should maintain the spiritual sanctity of the body even that comes under bahya shauta the spiritual sanctity of the body is maintained by विभूति धारण वेरिंग विभूति ऑन द फोरहेड और तिलक धारण वेरिंग एनी तिलक विद कुंकुम और चंदन ऑन द फोरहेड इट सिग्निफाइज द स्पिरिचुअल सैंटिटी ऑफ द बॉडी एंड आल्सो ड्रेसिंग प्रॉपरली wearing proper dress so that the body does not become body is not looked upon as an object of enjoyment body should not be looked upon as an object of enjoyment by oneself as well as by others even when we look at our body we should feel that the body is a shrine deho devalaya prokta and even when others look at our body they should also feel the divinity in us one should dress in such a way that is why in our tradition पीपल वेर रुद्राक्ष और तुलसी माला एक्सेट्रा ऑल दीज मार्क्स सिग्निफाई द सैंटिटी ऑफ द बॉडी एंड देन इंटरनल क्लीनलीनेस आंतरशौच आंतरशौच इज मेन्टेनिंग द प्योरीटी ऑफ द मैंड समटाइम्स इंप्योर थॉट्स मे अपीयर इन द मैंड बिकॉज ऑफ वन सोन संस्कार like hatred envy etc even when such thoughts appear in the mind one should cleanse them and the technique to cleanse the mind is told in the shastra pratipaksha bhavanam प्रतिपक्ष भावन मीन प्रोड्यूसिंग ए कौंटर थॉट ए कौंटर थॉट विच कैन मिटिगेट एन अंडिजैरेबल थॉट एंटरटेनिंग सच कौंटर थॉट इज कॉल्ड प्रतिपक्ष भावन for example if there is a hatred one should replace the hatred one should mitigate the hatred by cultivating love cultivating compassion etc it is a kind of pratipaksha bhav or if there is a desire kama 
वन शुड कौंटर द काम बै एंटरटेनिंग वैराग्य दस द मैंड इज कैप्ट क्लीन just like our devices electronic devices they get virus therefore there has to be some anti virus which can clean the virus as the virus enters anti virus has to be active always and it has to be updated also anti virus has to be updated and it should be kept active in the same manner even in the mind there has to be some anti virus what are the anti virus the noble thoughts like the thought of compassion thought of uh, generosity etc they serve as anti virus to mitigate the undesirable ideas the undesirable emotions that is how the mind is kept pure so antara shaucha is a dynamic process just like bahya shaucha even bahya shaucha is a dynamic process is not that you take bath once and you are clean forever it is not so one should clean one's body regularly every day two or three times it has to happen repeatedly in the same manner even the antara shaucha should be ensured by cleaning the mind constantly sthairyam steadiness in the pursuit of moksha sthairya literally means steadiness in this context it means steadiness in the pursuit of moksha let me read gudhartha deepika मोक्ष साधने अनेक विध विघ्न प्राप्त अदपरीगेन पुनः पुनः यत्नाधिक्यम् मोक्ष साधने प्रवृत्त दिस् पर्सन हेज स्टार्टेड मोक्ष साधना he is pursuing moksha but then aneka vidha vigna prapta in the pursuit of moksha various types of vignas are possible many forms of vignas keep coming in the pursuit of moksha shreyamsi bahu vignan any good pursuit involves many vighnas and the vighnas can be threefold adhyatmika vighna some vighnas some obstacles may appear in the body itself like a disease on account of disease he is not able to do sadhana 
he is not able to do japa he is not able to do meditation he is not able to do puja so adhyatmika vighna can be a hindrance and then adhi bhautika vighna sometimes the other people may cause obstacles sometimes the relatives they don't want this person to be a mumukshu many people say wife does not allow because the wife is afraid if he starts listening to geeta too much he may become a sanyasi sometimes it happens therefore the family members discourage put pressure on him don't study geeta don't listen to the swami there can be many types of adhi bhautika vignas problems caused by other people obstacles caused by other people not necessarily human beings even other animals sometimes mosquito etc generally human beings nowadays because other animals somehow we can handle in olden days adhi bhautika they would say chora vyagra divihi tiger thief etc now it is mostly from other human beings and third type of vigna is adhi daivika it is caused by daiva like natural calamities extreme heat flood etc on account of these vignas one may get dis- disheartened i am trying for moksha but there are so many obstacles generally in such cases people give up okay let me not pursue moksha that is when sthairya comes to picture one should be steadfast in the pursuit of moksha despite all types of vignas tad aparityagena without giving up moksha sadhana without giving up the pursuit of moksha punaha punaha again and again yatnadhikyam he should put more and more effort if obstacles are there one should get encouraged by the obstacles instead of getting discouraged there are obstacles therefore let me put more effort this should be one attitude yeah atma vinigraha in this word atma refers to dehendriya sanghata the collection of body mind senses etc mainly mind and senses manas and indriyani 
their vinigraha means disciplining them disciplining the mind and senses in such a way that they don't distract us from the pursuit of moksha instead the mind and senses behave in favor of moksha in favor of the pursuit of moksha it is called atma vinigraha next shloka ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಥು ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಅನಹಂಕಾರ ಜನ್ಮ ಮೃತ್ಯುಜರ ವ್ಯಾಧಿ ದುಃಖದೋಷಾನುದರ್ಶನ ಇನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಸಾಧನಾಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆರ್ ಏಟ್ ಅಮಾನಿತ್ವ ಅದಂಭಿತ್ವ ಅಹಿಂಸಾ ಕ್ಷಾಂತಿ ಆರ್ಜವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೋಪಾಸನ ಶೌಚ ಸ್ಥೈರ್ಯ ಆತ್ಮವಿನಿಗ್ರಹ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ನೈನ್ ನೈನ್ ಸಾಧನಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಯಾ ಯಾ ನೈನ್ ಸಾಧನಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೌ ಟೆಂತ್ ಒನ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಟೆಂತ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಥು ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾರ್ಥ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ absence of desire towards sense objects vairagya is understood in two ways one is ichha rahityam absence of desire and another jihasa a desire to give up with respect to certain objects i want to give it up this kind of a desire is called vairagya some objects that we get may may be distracting in the pursuit of moksha if we have them it can be a distraction in the pursuit of moksha therefore a mumukshu feels that he should give it up it is called jihasa so vairagya is both ichha rahityam as well as jihasa it is absence of desire 
as well as a desire to give up any object that is not in favor of moksha. Next, eleventh one. Anahankara ha evacha. Anahankara. Being free from ahankara. The word ahankara is used in different senses. In Vedanta. Here, according to Madhusudana Saraswati, Ahankara means conceit, thinking oneself to be superior. Let me read Godhartha Deepika. Manasi Pradurbhutaha Aham Sarvotkrishtaha Iti Garvaha Ahankaraha Ahankaraha is a Garvaha, a kind of pride. What is the pride? Aham Sarvotkrishtaha. I am the greatest, or I am the great, I am greater than others. This kind of an idea, this kind of a thinking which is called pride or egoism, conceit is called ahankara. Being free from ahankara being free from such pride is called anahankara. Previously, in Shloka 7, we saw Amanitvam. Now we see anahankara. What is the difference? Amanitvam refers to not boasting about oneself. One does not glorify oneself. One does not praise oneself. It is Amanitva. In the case of Anahankara, it is absence of the thinking in the mind, absence of the feeling of one's own superiority. Anahankaraha is in the mind at the mental level. Amanitvam is at the verbal level. It is the difference between Amanitvam and Anahankaraha. Next, Janna Mrityu Jaravyadhi Dukkha Dosha Nudarshanam. Entire line is a single word. It is one compound. A very important sadhana. Contrary to a popular opinion, the popular opinion is that one should always think of good things, one should always think of positive things in life. Contrary to that, Bhagavan says, 
वन शुड थिंक ऑफ द लिमिटेशन ऑफ लाइफ लिमिटेशन ऑफ वेरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ लाइफ लाइफ इज नॉट ऑल हैप्पीनेस लाइफ इज नॉट ऑल प्लेजर देर आर मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स इन लाइफ in fact each stage of life is associated with the problems janma first of all janma even janma has its dosha its problems even the process of birth there is a garbhavasa the fetus stays in mother's womb the jeeva has to stay in mother's womb for 9 10 months in a suffocating condition and then it is pushed out through a narrow opening and then as soon as the baby is born it opens its eyes to an unknown world a strange world then it starts crying all are born with the cry therefore there is a dosha associated with the janma and then there is a dosha associated with the mrityu death pain associated with the death jara problems associated with the old age vyadhi dukha sorry vyadhi dosha vyadhi disease there are so many types of diseases one should think of the suffering caused by diseases and then dosha sorry dukha dosha dukha all other types of dukha like loss of one's dear ones bereavement loss of wealth various types of dukkhas are there one should constantly think of the dosha the problems associated with all these situations in life dosha anudarshanam so dosha can be can be connected with each one janma dosha मृत्यु दोष जरादोष व्याधिदोष एंड दुख दोष द प्रॉब्लम एसोसिएटेड विद ईच ऑफ दीस अनुदर्शन अनु पौन पुण्य अगेन एंड अगेन वन शुड थिंक ऑफ दीस दोषा why because only then we get vairagya towards the life itself
and then we feel the life is painful every stage of life is painful therefore i don't want another life i don't want another janma therefore i should work for moksha in this life itself such intense vairagya as well as mumukshutva intense vairagya and intense mumukshutva results from such a doshanu darshana that is why krishna prescribes dosha darshanam or doshanu darshanam as a sadhana for a mumukshu generally people say don't think of the flip sides of life just to think of the good side how nice life is we can eat ice cream we can eat uh, chocolate how nice life is this is what generally people advise to think but krishna says think of all the limitations think of all the problems and these problems are inevitable in everybody's life and only when we dwell on such problems we can cultivate intense vairagya towards life as well as intense mumukshutva next okay let's stop here om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hi